Now at noon, a mother of six killed after a dispute escalated into violence right in front of her children. 7's Danielle Garcia is live in Northeast Miami Dade where police are still searching for that shooter. Danielle. Yeah, Ethan, that 33 year old mother was shot and killed in front of her kids after some sort of argument here at the park. That shooter just ran away before police could get here. Unfortunately, when the paramedics arrived, she was already dead. And the neighbors here described to me the gory and shocking aftermath. The life of a mother of six senselessly taken Tuesday afternoon. And it all happened right in front of her children. I cannot even begin to imagine what those children felt having watched their mom get shot. I cannot even imagine what they are feeling right now or what they're going through right now. Investigators say the mother, 33 year old Jaretha Lawson, got into some sort of argument with another group of people at Oak Grove Park in Northeast Miami Dade. That mother was driving away when she was shot and then she crashed her car. <laughs> Flor Benabes says she heard the crash and when she ran out, she saw Lawson bleeding from the head. That's when she heard the kids screaming for their mother. When police finally arrived, she said they had to pull the kids away from her. And they were crying like crazy and had some blood on them. It was surreal to see these kids carry on the way they do, you know, and it's, I have kids myself and it hurts a lot. Eustace Norris not only witnessed the crash, but his car was one of the ones the mother crashed into after being shot. My car is my new to what happened to these people, but these people that couldn't manage, they couldn't sleep last night. The six children, ranging in age from 7 to 17, not hurt physically, but surely left emotionally scarred after what they endured. A man identifying himself as the woman's husband, later arriving and escorted by police, visibly upset. Now police say they need the public's help as they try to find who's responsible and why it all started. At this time, that's what detectives are trying to get through right now, trying to get to the bottom to determine what happened, what was the, the reason behind the dispute, and, and just in total, how many individuals were involved. So again, this morning we have checked back with the Miami-Dade police. Still no arrests just yet. Still no lead on any suspects. So they're really trying to get out the word out to the public. If you have any information, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers to help them find whoever did this to this mother. That number is 305-471-TIPS right there on your screen. Remember, you can remain anonymous. Reporting live in Northeast Miami-Dade, I'm Danielle Garcia, 7 News.